Okay, welcome back. The demo that I'm gonna do now, the video that I've already done, uh, I've already ran this demo, right? Uh, and it's called Converging Lenses and Fires. So it's, the video is gonna show you how you can utilize converging lenses to start a fire. This, this is really a good idea if you go camping or if you go somewhere and maybe even hiking and you're gonna be by yourself and you get stranded, maybe starting a small fire would be a good way to let people know where you are stuck. Of course, be very careful about that. You know, you don't wanna be in the middle of the forest and start a fire and make it even worse. But if you are at some localized place and you want to start a fire and maybe even cooking food or you don't have any uh, flame right with you just to cook food that would be a good way or if you're stuck and you really got to let people know where you are you can start fires this way so when we did the theory of converging lenses we saw that converging lenses have a focal point their primary focal point is on is in the real world right is on this side then if you have a source of light that is very far away so we're gonna be using the source of light where, that we're utilizing here is the sunlight, right? So sunlight is very far away, and the idea of the focal point of a lens is that um, it uh, takes the straight beams of light and then focuses it on the focal point, okay? And so the, one of the lenses that I'm gonna use the lens that I used in one of the other videos, we saw that the focal point of this is about 20 centimeters, right? So in the video, what you're gonna see that is that I'm pointing the, the uh, convergent lens towards the sun, and I put a piece of paper like this. The most ideal situation is if you can kind of tilt the paper perpendicular to the sun, right? But I, it was hard for me to do that because I was also videotaping with one hand and I had the lens tilted a bit towards the sun, but the paper was sitting on the ground, which was not perpendicular. So the ideal situation is if you can tilt this and they can all be perpendicular to the line of sight to the sun, but it still pretty much worked. So when I had the single lens, I had the lens about 20 centimeters from the paper and you get a concentrated beam of sunlight and you can actually see a smoke uh, starting to develop, right? And then the paper starting to burn and the burn is getting wider and wider. The next thing that you're gonna see in the video is that I'm gonna put two of these lenses, right? By making two of them and they both have focal length of 20, that kind of cuts their focal length uh, by half. That means they're twice as strong now, right? So therefore, it's approximately 10 centimeters. So if I use two of them, I have to get them to be closer to the paper. Uh, so uh, you're gonna see that in the video. They're closer to the paper. And again, you get a concentrated beam of sunlight and you start, you start a fire again. So this is uh, 10 centimeters now, okay? The next thing that you see that is that I use a feather lens. Uh, a single feather lens that is more curved, right? So, um, it's more curved like this, and the focal length of that one is also approximately 10 centimeters, maybe five to 10 centimeters. So since it is more curved, it is a stronger lens, and I don't need two of them, right? I can just get one of them like that. You get a piece of paper, right? And then you get the sunlight coming, and then this is about five to 10 centimeters, and then you can still start a fire that way, right? The next thing you're gonna see is that I'm gonna attempt to do a diverging lens. Right, I'm gonna attempt to do diverging. The diverging lens is like this, and the primary focal length of the diverging lens is on the left side, so uh, it takes the sunlight and it diverges it outward, right? So of course, if you were looking from here, you would see that source of light as being here, right? You would diverge it outward. But the problem with diverging lenses is they don't focus the sunbeam on the piece of paper. They actually diverge them outward. So if I put the diverging lens like this, and then the sun is here and the piece of paper is here, the sunlight is gonna come and it's gonna diverge outward. It's gonna spread out, right? So if it spreads out, what's gonna happen? It's actually gonna be less concentrated, right? And if it's less concentrated, of course, you will not be able to get a fire started. So you will see this in the video, is that when the sunlight widens, right? And there's no way that you can get a fire started using a diverging lens. The last uh, thing that you're gonna see in the video is that I crumble a bunch of pieces of paper together. I just crumble them, okay? 
Then I used the original lens, the one that had 20 uh, centimeter uh, focal length. And I put it about 20 centimeters uh, from the, the paper. And then the sunlight comes, right? And then it starts making a hole here, right? So as the hole gets bigger, the sunlight starts penetrating in the inside and it really gets hot inside. And then you really get a true fire going, okay? You get a true fire going. And then by the end of the video, you're gonna see that the crumbled pieces of paper actually turn to ashes. So that's kind of the final, uh, the final hooray that says, okay, you can get a true genuine fire going using a single converging lens, okay? So I hope you enjoy the video. You get to see all these different combos, uh, single lens, double lens, another single lens, diverging lens, and then the crumbled pieces of paper, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, first I'm gonna be using the lens that we used uh, for the uh, previous videos. This one had a focal length of 20 centimeters. Now you can see the paper burning up, smoke coming out. Pretty dramatic effect. You see the fire? That's about 20 centimeters. The lens is here. The lens is 20 centimeters from the paper. If I take this out, you can see the burn that is created in the paper. Now, if I use two, be uh, two lenses, I think it's gonna make them a stronger lens. So then I'm gonna have to put them closer to the paper and look at the beam that's created. Very sharp, strong beam. Okay, now we're gonna use this lens. This, has a, this lens has a different focal length. So I'm gonna see here by adjusting, I'm gonna see what the focal length of the lens is. So it looks like it's about five to 10 centimeters. Uh, It is burning through the paper now. This is the burn caused by the original single lens. This is the burn caused by the uh, focal length 10 centimeter lens. And this is the fire caused by the, the double lens. Now I'm gonna use a diverging lens. This diverging lens is thinner in the inside than the outside, right? Let's see if we can get this to get a fire going. You should notice that you cannot use these because they diverge the rays of sunlight outwards so they make them weaker than they actually are. So this is just showing that basically. You see here, no beam of concentrated sunlight and you cannot get a fire started. And now I actually crumbled pieces of paper and I'm seeing if I can get a true fire started because the, the heat will be trapped inside and it could be like a good barbecue, how you start a good barbecue. I'm using the single lens here. The fire is really getting going. At the end, this is what remains of the paper, ashes. So we got a true fire going and the whole crumbled paper turned into ashes. So you can see the power of a concentrated beam of sunlight in starting and producing fires. Thank you very much.